What's up? What's up, collective? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, a consistent day, a prosperous day. I hope things are going well for you guys. And I hope a blessing has taken place for you, a miracle of some sort, you know? Um, look, King of Swords, let's get into this week. Somebody, there's a bum-ass male. I'm not going to even cap to you. This is not for men. This is for my divine feminine. There is a bum-ass male um, that is watching you. But this, per this person likes you. They want to be with you. But it's so disrespectful to me because, look, Six of Cups, an unforeseen event. Because this individual is broke, like... They're broke as fuck. They have no ambition. They don't know left from right. They're used to living off of people. And it's just like, this person comes off as a great man, um, a great talk to person, but this person has no ambition. This person smokes cigarettes, smokes weeds, smokes blacky mouth. This person indulges in alcohol. This person has no energy. This person can come from a family of Section 8 where they have watched the women do nothing their entire lives and able to maintain a home and dwelling and this person has watched these females and develop no traits of hustle no traits of consistency look no traits of work and i can't make none of this shit up ace of cups temperance this person look ace of swords this person heard or somehow know that you are financially abundant you're prosperous and that you make things happen and number 14 could be significant maybe something will be revealed on the 14th of the month upside down judgment so this person um i'm not gonna cap when i before i came into this video i heard evict in my head evicted so i'm guessing on the 14th of the month this person will be evicted maybe this person lives in your community or some sort but this person will be evicted so yeah i'm getting maybe this could be a neighbor or some shit that, that could have been eyeing you somebody that you talk to or just cool with cordial with this person look one of, this person want a ten of cups with you look ace of coins this person want a ten of cups with you this person want balance and stability with you they feel like you're the best fish in the sea and this person is also um they could call you friend look five of cups they'll call you friend three of cups or this person can act like they want to be your friend probably call you best friend sister bro take it as it resonates with this person look the, the world this person feels like you're complete and that you hold the staff and the rods in your hand that can help this person out the number 21 could be significant you're about to receive a blessing on the 21st of this month some sort of um divine blessing something you've been waiting for something that you thought wasn't happening or just a complete surprise maybe a bonus at your job a customer that you did something for a while back and they didn't have the money to tip you they about to come back and bring you a tip um oh yeah it's like a lot of divine great things that's about to happen for you um say for instance mm, you went to a corner store just take this for example you went to a corner store that accepts ebt and you pay for your food ebt this time you go back to the store the owner knows you always come in and pay with ebt this time the owner you see that you're not paying with ebt you pay with cash this owner put two and two together you ain't got ebt this person not about to make you spend your cash so you can have your whole order for free you did what I'm saying? This is the type of blessings you're walking into. Um, this your season. You're, you're getting back all the good you've given. You ain't been giving out no bad. You receiving Dharma right now. You're receiving a good. And this person can look. Magic being done in your life. And this person can sense that. Now, this person is a karmic. This person is going through karmic events. This is the type of person. <sighs> This is not the person that they are today, but previously they were the type of person, the type of man that would take money out of a woman's purse while she wasn't paying attention. Like say for instance, a woman go and run into the store, he'll hurry up and grab some change out of her purse or bills, you know, anything that he could. But this stopped when this happened with one female, he tried to take from a guarded female. Maybe this woman had about $80, four twenties in her purse. He reached in to think he was snatching just a couple and snatched all of it. She went behind him and needed gas and realized all her money was gone. So she's looking about where her money is and he has it. So this could have also caused this person to move away or this could have ended the relationship that was taking care of this person. He just kept stealing and stealing from this individual. Yep. This person gave up on him. He was stealing everything from this person. Everything this person was getting, he was stealing for There was a stealing ass couple. Look. For a staff. There was a stealing ass couple. These individuals used to steal. And this person, they feel like you'll be a good candidate for it. 
this person can also still be with this individual maybe on the 14th of the month this person is about to evict him up out of their crib because i'm getting it this is some sort of like six of cups some unseen event coming i believe that this person is planning to kick him out like this person has been helping him with resources trying to make him plan things for the day like she's trying to make him get dressed and get up out the house so that she can lock up all the doors and don't let him back in like this bitch is trying to get rid of this nigga and what you don't want is to attach to somebody else's problem you understand what i'm saying this person this male is going through a lot of karma this person is in a lot of dark places in their life but he, this is what happens when you're in a karmic relationship. This female is a divine feminine that got attached to the wrong man for money purposes. So I ain't gonna count all them PPPs and EDD and shit was out. So maybe they got together around PPP time and shit and thought this person had money. Come to find out, baby girl, this man ain't got shit. This man ain't got shit. Or maybe he could have worked at one point and gotten a PPP or EDD or some shit. And some type of way this man lost the ability look. The higher priest, I know what I'm talking about, baby. Don't fuck around with me or it. The number two can be significant. February. Look, Will of Fortune. The number's 10. So February 10th. Uh, the shit, y'all might be getting y'all income taxes of February 10th. A Will of Fortune, February 10th. So look, the lovers. This person could know that too. The lovers, the number six. So this person could possibly know you have children too. This person be trying to come around because income tax season is coming up and this person is trying to steal from you in some type of way. Yeah, this person knows that like, yeah, this is some shady shit. This person is trying to come around. Be careful with this income tax season too. Real careful. Two of cups. Because this to the point now a nigga trying to rob somebody for their uh, income tax. Look. This person, this, this divine feminine that he with not too, he could tell her that he about to go and come back and bring back some money that'll fix the relationship. She'll let him back in. But as of right now, to this point, this day, this female is thinking of a way to get this motherfucker from around her. This female goes through a lot of hurdles. She's struggling to feed two. She's struggling to keep up with two. And he's not no help. She's taking care of two people. And this gentleman is not helping her at all. Six of coins. Yes. This person is a bigger. This person is about to become a bigger. This person can actually look like a bigger collector. Because I don't know why you would even want to talk to this person. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Don't ever confuse. Don't judge the same. Don't judge a book by its cover. Because a book for you ain't about to look like a panhandling bum. If a book is for you, it's going to look like a rich a rich bum. With some Levi's on and a, a clean white shirt riding in the Maybach. That's the type of bum you want a rich bum, a, a, a nigga that, a rich nigga that gets up and make 40, 50 bands a day. Go to sleep, take a shower, and put back on the same outfit four, five days in a row. You dig what I'm saying? Because his body clean, his finances is clean. You want a nigga that ain't worried about his outfit, but he's taking care of his appearance and himself. You know when someone is taking, look, strength in four cups, you know when a man is taking care of himself. Don't play, ladies. Their hairline going to be nice. Their mustache is going to be groomed. Hair going to be groomed. Around their mouth ain't gonna be dry, teeth ain't gonna be faded yellow. You know when a man is taking care of himself, don't fool that. And don't you ever think that God sent a man to you to take care of a man or to beautify a man. Ace of Cups, that's not your job. Ace of Cups, your cup is running over for you. And I'm getting that this person is doing some type of telepathic magic to you. Like maybe this person is doing some magic for you to leave out at a certain time go in at a certain time go check your mail at a certain time go do certain go to the gym at a certain time this person wants you to do you know walk your dog go outside for a certain time the star this person could possibly watch you from social media could have went and dug up your social media this person real ten of swords And, it, and it's a blessing that whoever this female is is about to get them from out of your, around you, or from around the area. Because um, this person, due to the fact that the magic that they're trying to do, this person can sense that this female is about to cut them loose. So they right now, you the next closest thing to 
gullible they feel like you conversable you talk to a boy you seem friendly enough to let somebody into your home if you get to that conversation level with them especially a male this person thinks that you are vulnerable and weak this person can also try to use the holy trinity the bible and religion to get one up on you and to be around but i'm telling you now this person is trying to steal from you this person has no intent to stay around you and also um i seen this person sent you three dollars on cash app to prove as if they had some sort of money or something like just to be funnier and to send you money but this was actually their last bit of money and they actually sent that to you as a peace offering through the spiritual realm of i'm giving this person my last i want them to help me take care of myself to get myself stable look for a staff look at these eight of cups like i said this motherfucker be meditating on you this person be meditating on you collective knight of swords and a hermit this person is about to betray you this person is about to have you into a battle some bullshit because possibly when this man start getting money from you or get stable from you, he may start being back dealing with this other female who also lives into your community or near your community, somewhere in your community, and also still has feelings for him and has hopes that he will get himself together and better one day. You did? So, look, seven of swords and seven of cups. This person is trying to take everything from you. They're trying to break you down. This person know income tax season coming up. You could definitely have dependents. And this person knows. You know, they're giving out all them tax advances and shit right now. This person knows that this person is well aware. This person is over the age of 28. And if they're not over the age of 28, they have the experience of a 28-year-old's lifespan. Or they have the mind frame of a 28-year-old. I'm saying the numbers 28 at a rapid speed. At a rapid speed, this person is about to get up, get him around your area. The last time you've seen that person was the last time you'll see that person. Or the last time you next time you see this person is the last time you're going to see them. Because what is today? The 10th? On the 14th, this person is about to be kicked out of the home. This person is going to leave. And the female they with is going to lock the door and make it be like put their stuff out and make it be known like this person needs a break. They tired of this smelly bum ass nigga around and got no deodorant and got no soap. Ain't brushing his teeth, but always want to be smoking. Ain't got no money to provide for food, but always hungry and want to eat. Always want to have sex, but ain't got no money. Bills ain't paid. And again, like I said, these people could be on some type of housing assistance or some type of set income where the rent, they know the rent is already paid. So that set income is already going to the rent. The rent is already covered, so there's nothing else left for the rest of the month. And she's covering the rent. He has nothing else to cover for the rest of the month. These people have, they possibly could have no furniture. They could be living on an air mattress for so long because all the finances she get. It's a staff, yes. This person is living off of a female right now. And he's about to come and try to be around you, Collective. There is no way, Collective, this dirty, I'm, this, I'm, I'm telling you, this dirty ass, bum ass person is definitely doing magic on you. And they think that it's going to work. They think that if they give you these, this, this last bit of money, and don't take it for exactly $3. This could be $30, $10, or $4. $100, $1,000. It could possibly be a large amount of money to them. That's a little amount to you. Like $50, that ain't shit to me. But that could be a lot to a bum ass nigga. You get what I'm saying? Date. This person is going to try to meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, playing, set a date. This person is going to try to set a date with you, talk about let's go out to eat, let's let's go on a date. But this person got some money from this, this female. The runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Yeah, so this person... uh. Even if this person, will, even if you was to get this person together, they still will run off on you because they don't want to be committed to you. Mask, not showing true feelings, hiding personality, pretend to look gaslighting. This person is gaslighting you. Like I said, calling you names like friend, sis, bro, best friend to William you know, Coffee Cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. This person is moving through a friendship, so they, they, could, they could look the phoenix. 
new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, grow, change mind. So this person, like I said, this ten of swords, they could get mad as fuck when they find out you change your mind. So from today, between the 14th, be steer clear of this person because this person, if you smoke, drink, whatever you indulge in, this person knew of your indulging, right? And this person may want to match with you and you're indulging, right? And by this, y'all are building a connection. So when this female kicks this person out, then they're gonna they're gonna tell you, hey, let's smoke, let's chill, let's roll one up, let's drink, let's do this and that. When they come to your house, they ain't gonna ever leave. They ain't gonna have nowhere to go because such and such just kicked them out. You know, they, they need you as a backup plan. Love call. Look, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. This person could possibly text you and say, just thinking about you, how you been, this and this and that. And that's not even the case. They're going to be like, I just want to come and chill with you. Let's smoke one real quick where you at. Love, act like they unconditional love, self-love. One is passion, affection, attraction. They act like they're attracted to you. But this person is attracted to your financial stability. Because even when you ain't got it collected, you're going to get it. And you're going to get a lot of it to make sure you don't need another more of you. Feel what I'm saying? Passion. Insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. So this person could be trying to put passion inside of you. This person could definitely be trying to put passion inside of you. And also, I'm getting at you. You you in the middle of something with somebody new right now. You're dealing with somebody new. Don't fuck that up. Look, talking. Like I said, I can't make none of this up. you talking to somebody new right now, collective. Camera. The Grim Reaper. Yep. That relationship is over for them. Ain't no going back. So ain't no going back to that other female. Ain't no going back to that other female. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This person needs to grow and transform their life. This female is not going to ever let them back into their home again. I'm seeing her put the stuff out and go back inside. She's feeling like this female knows that he know you. Look, girl with a snake. Charmed, empic, narcissist. This, this female could be hoping that he's talking to you so that this, this female seeing the way y'all converse together. Maybe I'm, I don't know, could have met at the gym, the mailbox, however y'all was conversing, could have been talking about dogs, clothes, or shoes, complimenting each other or something. This female was right there on the side of YouTube, watching YouTube connection, and she let you guys exchange phone numbers probably, sabotage, rebuild, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So she feel like y'all was working on building a bond or something, like she hoping he finds somebody else to talk to, like even if she was to talk to you, he was to talk to you. And be coming back to her house, she'll be cool with that because during the day he gone and he gets some money and figuring something out because she still like him and want him to have better for himself as well. Healing heart, yeah. But at the same time, she also healing her heart because she know he's not for her or what she wants. This female wants y'all two to talk. She wants him to have somebody like you around. And she also may want to have you around. Look, Twin Flame, the dragon. She may think that y'all two are very compatible. She may see something. This bitch could also been could have did a magic spell for you and him to connect together. She could have did this without you knowing to make y'all Twin Flame, to put him in your destiny, to put him on your track. She could have did magic on you. For you and him to be attracted and united together into one, a union with each other. To set you up, lighten you, look, a sudden change. She will, she may send something to have a sudden change of heart for this individual or something like that. I don't know whatever it is, but this is a dusty-ass, bum-ass nigga. This is somebody that you wouldn't even fuck with like that karmic relationship. The snake. Like I said, this is somebody you wouldn't even fuck with like that. This is a snake-ass offer. When this person is trying to act like they're your friend, and then they're going to try to, you know, get you turned up with them and, and come down on you. Come on, to, come on to you. The same thing that he did to her. Chill with you, act like y'all friends and y'all bonding. Make this, this is a narcissist. Cupid's arrow. This person is trying to make it seem like love hit y'all. Like y'all together, love hit y'all. Y'all together, y'all united, y'all one. Make this person, make you feel like this person love you, like this person wants to be with you, committed with you, in a union with you. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. So right now, collective, you you in the place where you 
You like I said, you good. And you don't want this to come around and fuck up nothing you got going on, baby. Girl talk. This Franklin, this girl could be also telling her friends about you and that she she hoping that he come and fuck with you to fuck up your life. Coughing. Look, new beginnings, rest in peace, growth change, liberation, transition. He probably got STDs too, like HIV or some shit. They probably both got it together. But you know, they on a prep pill, so she could still go and be with somebody else. They, they got HIV dating links and shit and apps and shit like that. And she wants him to bring it to you. I'm when I seen RP, I seen HIV. I thought it said on HIV on the and y'all y'all need to be careful. Y'all could go to CVS and get HIV tests and make your partner take it right there. And y'all can chill and talk and get to know each other right there while y'all waiting for the results to show up. Like it's that simple. You guys don't have to go all sad like that nowadays. Hard with a key. Yup. This person is definitely trying to put you on lock some type of way. This person is trying to spiritually hypnotize you sexually to make you move into, to make them able to move into your home heartbroken deeply hurt sad and separation break of feeling lost grieving mourning so maybe this female has already told this individual they gotta find him somewhere to go she's probably already giving him a time frame or like i said in general she could have fumbled the bag because of this nigga and didn't pay her rent and they gotta go Wherever they at, whoever this is, he's victim them, they not playing. This is expedited. Like, tomorrow you got to go. Tomorrow's court and you got to leave after court. Addiction. Unless they already went to court. You know, you go to eviction court and then you, the judge give you a certain amount of days to go. So, I'm guessing they in between that time frame of a certain amount of days to go. Addiction. So, I'm guessing whatever they indulge in, that's what they spend their money on. Their addic addiction. Stabbed in the back. So, I'm getting at this. This man told her to invest her rent money into their indulging because whatever he had coming he had something about to come through something was about to come through for him that actually did not come through heartbroken pain separation deception shocking attack yes this caught him this caught her by a shock because whatever he was lying about it whatever it was it didn't work out or maybe he told her he was going to go pay the rent looking at your photos missing you Nostalgia, make make new memories, girl. Yeah. So maybe this person was supposed to. They, I, I'm strongly getting at this individual. They, he could have brought some packs, right? With her rent money, and said he was gonna flip the packs, but they ended up smoking them hoes instead. They ended up smoking the packs, and it wasn't no good packs. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Yep. She thought this was her her person, but this is what made her realize that he had to go. This is the icing on the cake. He's done a lot of bum ass shit, but this here, this was the icing on the cake that baby boy had to go. Wedding ring, Julian, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting lasting love. So she thought that they was going to get married. He could have been telling her that they were going to get married, that they was going to use this money and get married. It's not happening. It didn't work out like that. That's not what's going down. So y'all stay clear of this individual because this person is for sure, for sure trying to come to you and get something out of you for them. And you don't want you don't want anything to do with that collective. You don't want nothing to do with that. Because he stabbed her in the back, he'll stab you in the back, and you are the star. You got way more to give than she did or does. Stay protected, stay prayed up, stay consistent, and make sure you pray for discernment on every male or female that's walking up to you and telling you that they want to love on you. Amen, amen.